wants it the most Blessings on blessings on blessings are on the line That's on my mind, committing my time Words of eternal life, that's Jesus Yo, welcome back to the channel, it's your boy Envy And Jay Today's subject is going to be Politics in sports Should you be able to use your platform as an athlete To talk about politics you want to start it? No, you go ahead and take it. All right. People might hate me for this one, but as for like the Colin Kaepernick, I think that there's a time and a place for everything. And I think when you're playing a professional sport, you're working. So I don't feel like you should be protesting at work because you're getting paid. Um, I don't think that's the right time. If, if you really have that passion for it, you would make time to do it on your own time because that's your own time. You're not getting paid. People aren't watching you. I, I'm not saying athletes shouldn't talk, shouldn't uh, voice their own opinions. I just think the way that it was, that he went about it, I wouldn't do it because you're working. We, what, whether he was doing it to, for, um, on the field and whatnot and kneeling, whatever it stood for, it's just more like, I, I understand the cause. I'm all for that cause. I just don't think the way he went about it was the right way. What as far as kneeling? No, as far as when he did it. Like because a, he's at work. He's about to work. I can't go to work and give you my my opinion on what I think. You know, when it when it when when I clock in, it's lights, cameras, action. It, it's your beliefs go out the window. It's time to perform. Yeah, I think... The whole, it goes down to the whole freedom of speech. And I think just because you're getting paid for it, I don't think... I, I mean, that he picked a, a great place to do it. How many... What did it do for it? Like, I guess, the awareness of it. I guess for me, if I were to just speak my mind at work, I can eventually lose my job. Yeah, and I think and that he is did, it. And he did too. Yeah, and I think that is it. I think he did take the big risk of when he did do it, how he did it. And oh well, obviously he paid the price for it, right? Which is crazy because now people that are kneeling, it's okay for them. You know, even you know, when they're having their press conference after the game, I've seen LeBron James chime in on things. But when we're playing, when we're watching the basketball game, I don't think that's the time to do it. Okay, but what he doesn't kneel during the game, like he doesn't take a kneel, like hey guys, the game, the clock started. I just think Does, it, is it? Do you clock in? As soon as you get to the stadium, or you clock in as soon as the ball's kicked off? I think it's... Because what you're saying about LeBron James, technically he's still on the clock, but you're saying it's okay for LeBron to do it. I think the... I, well, I don't know. I guess because when they're, when they're doing the interviews at the end of the game, I don't really see that as... Which goes to the national anthem. That's technically not during the game. I think it's part of the game. Well, no, well it's if not they... going to give you any points. Yeah, but... You still, it's like getting ready for work. You know what I mean? Like you're, you're there. It's time. It's time to work. I think the game starts when you kick off, when the ball's kicked off, and that's it. And it ends. That's it. The buzzer ends, and that's it. What you do before and after, that's on you. Like, I just think it's part of the game for them. And like I because said, because not not everybody not everybody has interviews or or. or has to go and speak after the game. So do everybody think, does have to start in the beginning of the game. Okay, so do you think that. who does have the voice should speak up for them? I just think when it comes, if you're really passionate about something, you're going to do it on your own time. Yeah, and that, and I think, I don't know as far as he does, but if he did, not as many people would hear about it if he did it on his own time. But that's his time. That's what passion is. Like, um, you're going to, it's either, do you want to do something that you're passionate about? Or something that you really have to do. Oh, I, I have to do this. And it's just, when you're working, whether you're passionate about it or not, you got to work. Yeah, and like I said, if it's against policy, I don't know what the NFL's policy is, all means. But taking a knee, I think it's, I think it, me and my wife go about this back and forth all day. I think it's freedom, freedom of speech. Now, one of our brothers, he served in the military. Maybe we should have him shine in on another video, but... Here's the thing, I don't think, and maybe we, maybe, I don't know, maybe we should ask him as far as it being disrespectful. I just think it's well, the whole freedom of speech thing. That, that's what on, it just on, comes down to. On that one, when it comes to being disrespectful, I guess I, guess I can understand where, 
where African Americans can can say, well, what has this country really done for us? You know what I mean? And feel that kind of anger towards it so I can see why they wouldn't stand up for it. That's why I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about using your platform for politics. I mean, if you want to use, because I mean, who's to say they can't have their own podcast and do it? Who's to say they can't have their own Instagram or Facebook and, and talk about it there? I'm just saying when, you, when you're when you there on the field, on the court, wherever you are doing your, your sports, you know, I, I think it's, it's, it's time to perform. I just think he exercised all his resources and at that time that was his greatest platform and he used it and it worked. I'm not gonna lie, at the beginning I thought he was just doing it because he got benched. And now? You still think that? Um, did he get, I thought he got benched because he did it. I thought he was already benched. No, I think he got benched because he did it. He, he was still performing and then they just benched him because, and I, I think, I don't think he was at like his highest peak, like he was all of, like he wasn't going to make MVP that year, right. but he was still a starter and then he did I, it and then they benched him and then I they agree, cut him. Like I said, I agree why he did it. Like that was great. That was a great cause. I just think he should have did that on his own time. You know, when I when I go to work, I don't get paid to to I don't get paid to to give my opinions. Especially when when it depending I guess depending on what your profession is. So, and I guess it's just the whole you can't have a voice like I I, get, I hear what you're saying, but it just comes down to them saying, okay, since I well, whatever pay your salary, I don't have a voice. Like I can't have an opinion, and I think that's what's wrong. Like with work, I think. Like in work, you can't even talk about religion, or you can't. Can you even do your religion at work? Yes. Yes. You and can. it's legal. Well, no. It, like it's not frowned upon. Like at your yeah, work. Yeah, because it's your religion. It's your beliefs. The thing I don't is, know. Is that I, I just think the governments, and even in sports, they're just taking too control. Like they took God out of school and all that, and. It's hard to try to please everyone. Yeah. I mean, look at us. We have two different opinions right now. We're not going to please everybody who watches this. Yeah, and I think he, should he have done it? I mean, I tip my hat off to him because he lost everything because of it. But, I mean, to each your own. You guys chime in. You guys let us know what you guys think. Um, I don't know. Being that bold, I think he gained more than what he lost. Because I don't, now he doesn't even have to play. He has sponsors. He has. He lost a lot of sponsors in doing that. I don't think so. I know. I, I think right now he doesn't even have to play if he doesn't want to. I, I don't think he wants to play anymore. No, yeah, he wants to come back on the team. But I know that he uh, he had like a lot of not sponsors, but a lot of people backing him. I think it was like I don't know which rappers and all that, but I know there was a lot of people backing him as far as financially. I don't know if he's set for life. I don't know if they're right. still doing it, but I know like that he was getting help like that. But I don't think it's what he was making. Maybe he's making even more now. But that's what I'm saying. I think he's. He's uh, diversified into other things. Uh, you know, I just, I really think, um, I, I love his cause. I love it. I completely agree with it. I think his Even heart the was in the right, huh? Even the kneeling. Not when he did it. I think there's a right time and the right place for everything. And I don't think that was the right time and the right place for it. Meaning? He was at work. No, 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 no. But you, you're okay with him kneeling during the national anthem? I think I think that's still part of the game. And like I said, when it comes to the whole disrespecting the flag, I don't believe it's that. I just think that he could have done that at another time, on his own time. And I don't think he was disrespecting the country. I don't think if you listen to him, uh, he wasn't trying to disrespect the the flag or anything like that. It was just he was trying to get his point across, and that was the best way. He even talked to soldiers or something like that, and they told him that they'd rather him take a knee, as because I think he was turning his back at the beginning to the national anthem mm -hmm. or to the flag or something, so they'd rather him take a knee, but he went through, he, he wasn't about the military, he wasn't shot at the military or anything like that. He just wanted to make his voice be heard, and well, it was heard. Yeah. All right, you guys, that's the end of the video. You guys, let us know what you guys think. You guys with it, for it. I don't and, know. I mean, we weren't just making it about Colin Kaepernick. I mean, I guess just using your platform yeah. to talk about politics. That's right? just the biggest one right now. No, I mean, that was like the biggest one. Yeah. I think ever like that's gonna be the biggest subject but yeah it's yeah all right well thank you Charlie for 
sending us that topic on our live. Yeah, huge, huge. Uh, we got, we're going to start doing more lives. We'll let you guys know on our Facebook. You guys go down on our Facebook and our Instagram. And uh, yeah, we'll let you guys know when we're going to be going live. So this way you guys can throw out some topics. We'll even answer the topics on live. You guys rather we did that. Yeah. All right, guys. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Hit the, re hit the bell notification. And uh, make sure you uh, select all on there. Love y'all. God bless for the next. I just wanna give it back, back for the one who gave me life, uh-huh.